All right, guys, both Google and YouTube are gearing up to enter into the crypto stratosphere. Uh, like, I, like, like I like to say, let me bring this up for you, and uh, this one as well. Oh, I didn't know what Google's headquarters looked like. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad I could uh, enlighten you here. <laughs> So uh, they're gearing up to enter the crypto stratosphere. Google is actively seeking, you know, like those uh, Craigslist ads, they are seeking to employ several blockchain experts while their sister company, YouTube, is looking into ways to integrate and offer NFT minting, trading, and selling capabilities as another source of revenue for the creators. The timeline for these projects have yet to be announced, but it's becoming painfully clear that every major company is looking for ways to cash in on this new tech. KTLA, when's your term? Creative services, I'm gonna give you a ring pretty soon. Um, you know what Olsen did before he left? He got us the little stickers on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you want to put oh one yeah. of the little stickers or the gifts on your story, search KTLA. And he even made a couple of gifts on Twitter of Robert singing New Music Friday yeah. That's and true. Good Boy Breaking. That's so true. Um, it's not out of our reach, Robert. I think it can be done. We just don't have Olsen anymore, I so know. it won't be done. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's a really good point because that's the closest thing we have to NFTs to, to, compared to anything else. Um, but it's not just companies looking to cash in on NFTs. China, known as one of the greatest copycats to ever exist, has famously mimicked apps like Instagram, what? Facebook, Google, YouTube, and so many others, has created a state-run blockchain that they will utilize to launch uh, a state, a st excuse me, that they, have that they will utilize uh, to start trading NFTs for their citizens. If China is copying it, you know it's valuable. The issue is blockchain tech was des designed to reduce censorship and enhance transparency. This uh, China-ran blockchain and NFT platform completely goes against that. Uh, so yeah, it completely, completely goes against all those purpose. metrics. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, 100%. And now, our favorite NFT owner, <laughs> <laughs> not you, Robert. <laughs> no, definitely not me. But this story made our group chat get feisty the other day. Paris made history in what's likely the first NFT giveaway on national TV. She appeared on Jimmy Kimmel to talk about her upcoming NFT collection, Fallon. Forever. Fallon. Uh, Fallon, apologies. Forever Fairy also, Tale. Paris Hilton, not the city of not Paris. Not the city. Sounds like Which... we're talking about the. <laughs> Okay. All of the all of the denizens. <laughs> hey, Look, Jimmy. She appeared on a late night show to give away some NFTs. You guys had some choice <laughs> words about that. Uh, the collection is about her. Uh, it's a collection of memories and photographs between her and her husband, uh, Carter uh, Reem. Uh, check out the video. You have a new NFT. You have one being one. released soon. Uh, we have it here. What can you tell us about this? Um, well, it's an NFT series that I'm doing with Super Plastic and we're releasing an Origin Protocol. And then I made another piece by hand. It took me six months, and it's all a collage of all of my memories with Ooh. Carter, and it's called my Forever Fairy Tale. Wow! And here's the actual oh, yeah. collage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hold on, this part's my favorite. Uh, hold on, hold on. This is, uh, this is big. I think uh, people are gonna love this. Well, if you love it so much, I actually want to give you the first one. Look at Jimmy. I would, <laughs> I would be honored. And I want to give one to everyone in the audience. Oh. Everyone gets an NFT. Yes, everyone. Everyone gets an NFT. Paris Hilton. Come on. I think that's the first NFT giveaway in television yes. history. We love you. Iconic. Paris Hilton. Who else has that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were, you were remarking, but all everyone just. Is that a good thing? Am I? Are you excited? What, what does it mean? Everybody get all the things. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Clap like this. Oh man, I love it. I like Jimmy Kimmel. I do too. And also, um, I like Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> Not who's in this story. Um, Robert, um, I, who, oh man. First of all, I I love Paris because, for many reasons. Like, I grew up in the early 2000s, late 90s. Like, of course, I love Paris Hilton. But, um, no, her but. show on Netflix, while she's cooking, did not get renewed for a second season. Yeah, 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 it yeah. Not it was it wasn't bad good it was just not good it was just bad um did the selena gomez show get renewed i think so because oh, she's so. blonde in another season yeah. I was like oh they let her die her anyway um but i i just i don't know if she honestly likes this or if this is a manager's suggestion I think anybody is it's a bubble right anyone who can make a little money on a thing is gonna like get in on it i think she's genuinely into it because she's actually been a big uh i guess bitcoin influencer since like 2004 16 i think even before the first uh bull run in 2017 she's been really into crypto since as far as i can remember uh so much so that uh this is not actually her first nft collection she's actually released another one so she's so into hmm. this that she 
tends to forget that she's already released an NFT collection prior to this one. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> also, another reason I love Paris Hilton, she accidentally tagged KTLA 5 Live on uh, an appearance on the morning show right when our show launched. So that's when we got an initial social media following. And Thank we you, Paris. We just spent five minutes insulting her I'm not all insulting her. her. I insult her? No. You, we, her we, cooking show like just wasn't too. super good. I like her and I love that like she was able to do this really cool move where she was she was like po popular and then she was kind of hated and then she went away and now she came back and people sort of like revere her now in a way. Yeah, because she's nostalgia in the best way. She is Lisa Frank. And and I don't know why. And maybe like things just got so insane after she kind of took a couple years off yeah. from, the, from the main that stage. She doesn't that she, seem that She kind of <laughs> seems sort of wholesome and fun. <laughs> like, nice. <laughs> I would I love, love to I meet like her. her. I I absolutely. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Guys, I have one more. Elon yes. Musk tweeted a proposition for McDonald's to start accepting cryptocurrency as payment. Uh, Elon Musk tweeted, I will happily eat a uh, happy meal on TV if McDonald's accepts Dogecoin. After the tweet, the digital cryptocurrency saw an 8% price surge. McDonald's later responded mm -hmm. jokingly that they will begin accepting Dogecoin only if Tesla begins accepting Grimace coin. While the exchange appears uh, to be tongue in cheek, more businesses have begun accepting cryptocurrencies as payment. Guys, the future seems bright. But the market is bleak. Uh, everything is in red, 40% discount. Uh, crypto, uh, Bitcoin currently is trading at 36,000, almost 37,000. Uh, so, you know, we have a long ways to go for, before volatility begins to stabilize. Until then, um, you know, best of luck to everybody out there investing. Are you yeah. buying the dip, Robert? Robert? That, that was a really well-written Elon Musk story that you just read. Props to you. Wow, is that the Did one you read that yesterday? <laughs> wow, no, I, had to, I had to write that for broadcast this morning. <laughs> but Robert didn't change it at all, which means good oh, for me. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> passing it all off as his own research. No, That's no, no. Crazy. No, it just means that I did well enough that he didn't need to add any like details. I do always love when <laughs> broadcast steals our scripts and doesn't change it. <laughs>